Um, I'm now going to hand you over to, to Les. Um, he's an absolute star. I, I was just talking to him earlier on about what he's been <coughs> doing in, in, um, locally uh, since he's become uh, the celebrity star of, of this documentary. But he's not just a local star now, he's a national star. And I'm um, looking forward to hearing his poem. So I'll hand over to him now. Right. Thank you very much. Well, this reminds me of the good old days when I used to play in Leeds Division 1. It was pretty tough, but in those days I didn't notice it. If I went there now, I'd get, get clouded off the table immediately. Because I, 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 you may have heard that I was um, airlifted from Sweden with a heart attack uh, not too long ago. And I'm still in the recuperation standard. But I think some of you may think that you could not do what some of the people on this film are doing and are continuing to do. One lady with more than a hundred, so she's setting the pace. And uh, there's a little poem which says, I don't know whether you, you want it all, but it goes off. Somebody said it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so, so he tried. So he put the light in with a trace of a grin on his face, if he would, he hit it. And he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. Someone said, you'd never do that. At least no one's done it. At least no one's ever done it. So he took off his coat and he took off his hat, and the next thing he knew, he'd begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubt or quibbling, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands of prophesied failure. There are thousands to point out to you, one by one, the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Take off your hat and go to it. Start to sing as you tackle a thing that couldn't be done, and you'll do it. So on this film, you'll see a number of people who have not listened to the wet blankets who said, oh, you can't do it. You're too old at 60 or 65 or 70 to start playing table. You're not. You're not too old. I'm coming up 92. And I'm looking forward to getting back into fitness. I can't wait till I can get back on the table and stand up straight without sitting on it, on the table. But uh, unfortunately, uh, you can't always uh, arrange for adversity not to occur. And then in the film, you'll see a man, who my, one of my colleagues, who I think is a really star of the film, called Tony Darcy Dunlan. I was surprised to call him his middle name. I said, I'll call him Darcy as well. I said, that's, that's my middle name. I've always had it. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so Terry is just about dying from the beginning of the <coughs> film to the very end. But he finishes up with winning a world's double title. So he could be epitomized in this little poem, which says, if you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost sure you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. For out in the world you'll find, success begins to the fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Now, Terry, you'll see in the film, he starts off in a very hesitant position. I'm not going to tell you about the film, but he does start off very, very much a very fragile person like myself at the moment, even much more fragile actually. And at the end of it, he finishes up as a champion. So we can just possibly uh, say one more uh, little point to you before you get on with the real business of seeing the film. Um, I believe, and I think it, we all could do to think about it a little bit more, is to start praising our colleagues for what they do. I mean, today I've been very impressed with Lee McSalmer and our councillor who has just spoken to us with the organising they are doing for their community. It really is fantastic. We can't get on without them. We do really need them. It's all like these people, like myself, going up there and getting an accolade for the gold medal and this, that, and the other. But the real people who we should be praising and you, I, I've given out a leaflet with the torchbearers. Some of the torchbearers, you know, there are other people standing in the crowd, possibly like yourself, who were perhaps far more worthy torchbearers, but you just didn't have anybody to propose you, or you were too busy, 
Are you working too hard on that day to do the work? But you could be an unsung hero, and like the people that we've just spoken to about this morning, are the real powers in the community. Without them, the community would stop. So it's all right, these people like myself, with various accolades and so on, but I do appreciate most of them. I know I couldn't have got anywhere without my family and the number of friends, I would have been sat at home. So I do really appreciate them. So finally, I just mentioned one verse. We should praise these people who are, who are helping us, and it goes something like this. If with pleasure you are viewing anything a man is doing, if you like him or you love him, tell him now. Don't withhold your approbation till the parson makes oration and he lies with snow white lilies on his brow. For no matter how you shout it, he won't really care about it. He won't know how many teardrops you have shed. If you think some praises to him, now is the time to set it to him, for he cannot read his tombstone when he's dead. Have you noticed that when these young people come back in a body bag or a coffin from Afghanistan, how nice everybody speaks about them. They should have told them that when they were in battle or before, or even before they went, and they didn't. So, don't let us ourselves be in that particular position. If somebody does something good for us, let's praise them. And so I will praise all of you today for being here, to coming to listen to the film, and I hope at the end of it, you feel that you might think about taking up table tennis. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks again.